Months into the pandemic, self-quarantined eyes are still glued to streaming. Honestly, I feel like I'm kind of like, I'm out of content. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds absurd because you're like, when it comes to Netflix, they have this massive library. Even with so many platforms and original series available on demand, some viewers may still feel like they've exhausted their options. Enter HBO Max. The platform is launching May 27th with exclusive titles from franchises like DC Universe, Studio Ghibli, and Sesame Street. But during a time when the word essential is tied directly to consumer decisions, are people willing to invest extra dollars into entertainment? They had their conception of how much they're spending on entertainment. But now, they can't go to the movies, they can't go to a baseball game, and so there, there's this kind of line where it's like, well, streaming platforms are actually relatively cheap. The latest Newsy Ipsos survey found that most people are spending the same on streaming, but of the people who are spending differently, only 4% of respondents said they were spending less. That's good news for the forthcoming release of HBO Max. Despite having to shutter more than 30 productions due to the pandemic, including plans for a Friends reunion, the platform is still launching with around 10,000 hours of video. Casey Mendoza, Newsy, Chicago.